Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start creating this loan calculator for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now this is how it works. We can see that we have the option of entering the amount, the interest rate and the tenure. And then we can see that the loan EMI, the total interest payable and also the total amount will be displayed over here. And we also have this chart over here where it displays the total interest and the principal loan amount. Now let's go ahead and change this value to something else. Uh, let's type 80,000 over here and let's click on calculate. And we can see that the loan EMI and the interest and the total amount is displayed over here. And we also have the chart updated over here. So this is how it works. We're going to create everything from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the browser window, we can see we have a different layout for all the elements and uh, it looks all right in the mobile version as well. Now I'm going to split this video into multiple parts where in the first part we will just create the design. So we'll write the HTML and the CSS. And then in the next video we will write the logic for this calculation using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right, so here I have created this folder called Loan Calculator and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's go ahead and create a new file. So let's click on new file and we'll just create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. So let's create a new file and let's name it style.css and we also need to have a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the SRF, I'll just type style or CSS. And we'll also link our JavaScript over here. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. All right, let's start by creating a container division. So let's give it a class of loan calculator. And uh, in this, we will have a division with a class of top for this top section over here. So let's create a division with a class of top. And in that we need to have a heading for loan calculator. So let's create an H2 and here I'll just type loan calculator. And then we'll create a form to add these input fields. So let's create a form and let's create a division for holding each of these input fields. So let's create a division with a class of group. And here we will have a division with a class of title for this title. So I'll just type dot title. And uh, here I'll just type amount and then we need to have the input field. So here I'll just type input and for the type I'll just keep it to text and then we will give it a class of loan amount. And uh, we'll also add a default value over here. So I'll just type value and we'll just add the default value to 20,000. Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. Right now we can see that our design is displayed over here in the browser. Let's go ahead and continue with our uh, HTML. Next we need to have the interest rate. So I'll just copy this uh, group and I'll just paste it down two more times. And here we need to have interest rate. And here for the value, I'll just type 7.5 by default. And uh, here for the class, I'll just type interest rate. And uh, then we have the tenure. So here I'll just type tenure in months. And for the default value, I'll just type, let's say 120. And here for the class, I'll just type loan tenure. But that's it with all the input fields. So here we can see the three input fields are displayed over here. Now the next thing we will do is we'll create a division with the class of result to add all these elements. So let's go back and let's create a division. So here I'll just create a division with the class of result. And in this we need to have a left part and a right part. So in the left part we will have these details over here. So here Let's create a division with a class of loan EMI. And in this we need to have an S3 for the heading. So I'll just type S3. And here I'll just type loan EMI. 
and then for this value I'll just create a division of the class of value and for the value I'll just type some random number for now and uh, let's go ahead and copy this division and we'll just paste it two more times and then for the second division we will have a class of total interest and here for the heading I'll just type total interest payable and then for the value I'll just type some random value and the next division is total amount so I'll just change the class to total amount and for the heading I'll just change this to total amount and uh, here I'll just type some random value All right now the next thing we need to do is create this button so let's create a button and we'll give it a class of calculate button and here for the text I'll just type calculate and then we need to have a chart on the right so here we have the left division so let's create a right division over here so I'll just create a division with a class of right and here we will have the chart so for now I'll just type chart over here All right now let's go back to our design and uh, we can see that all the elements are displayed over here now let's start styling this so let's go to our style.css file and first of all let's target the loan calculator which is the container division so let's type dot loan calculator and we'll get a font family of Roboto and sans serif and let's set the width to 600 pixels and we will set the margin to 24 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it will be in the center now let's give it a background color of white and we will add a box shadow so I'll just type box shadow and let's set the values to 0 12 pixels, 50 pixels, negative 11 pixels, RGBA and 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2 Alright now let's add some rounded corners so I'll just have border radius and let's set it to 8 pixels and we'll set the color of all the text to 1421 3D Alright now let's style the top division so here we can see we have created a division with a class of top so let's style that here I'll just type lawn calculator top and let's set the background color to the dark color 14213d and let's set the color of the text to white and we'll set a padding of 32 pixels all right now let's style this heading so let's type loan calculator top h2 and uh, let's set a margin top of 0 all right now we want all these groups to be one next to the other so let's target the form so I just type loan calculator form and let's set the display to flex and we'll also set a gap of 8 pixels between each of them and we'll set the justify content to space between so that they have the correct spacing now we'll have some gap between the title and this input field so let's type loan calculator and we had given it a class of title so let's set the margin bottom to 16 pixels and now we can see that the border radius is not being displayed over here on the top division so for that we have to go over here to the container division which is the loan calculator and we have to set the overflow to hidden so that anything outside this division is not visible and now we can see we have the rounded corners right now let's style these input fields so let's type loan calculator form input and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and we will add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and we'll set the width to 100% and now we can see we don't have the correct width for all of these elements because of the padding so for that let's go over here to the top and we will add a line of code called box sizing border box so let's tap loan calculator and also loan calculator and all the elements inside that so I'll just tap asterisk over here and here I'll just tap box sizing and uh, set it to border box now what happens is that it will include the padding and the border of the element inside the width of the element so now we can see we have the correct width so let's scroll down and now let's style the result so I'll just type dot result or let's type loan calculator dot result now we want these elements to be on the left and this chart to be on the right so here I'll just type display of flex and let's type justify content and space between so that both the elements are on the extreme left and right and let's also bring it to the center vertically so I'll just type align items to the center 
Right now let's style the left part. So I'll just type loan calculator, result left, and let's set the width to 100%. And uh, we'll set the padding to eight pixels, top and bottom, and uh, 32 pixels left and right. If we give it a background color, we can see that we have this full width for the left division. But when we will add the chart, it will take up the space that it needs. So let's remove this background color. All right, now let's style these headings. So for the headings, uh, we have an S3, I think. So here we can see we have an S3. So let's style that. So here let's type loan calculator, left S3. And let's set the font size to 16 pixels and the font weight to 400. And we will have a margin bottom of 8 pixels. All right, now let's style these values. So for the values, we have a division with a class of value. So let's style that here. I'll just type loan calculator result value. And let's set the font size to 30 pixels. And let's set the font weight to 900. And we will have a padding bottom of 10 pixels. And we'll also have some border at the bottom. So I'll just type border bottom. And let's set it one pixel solid and uh, we will have a color of RGBA 20, 33, 61 and 0 0.2 for the opacity. Now you can also add the currency that you want over here on the left. So you can use a before selector for that. So here just type loan calculator result value colon colon before. And here just type content. And here in the content you can type the currency. I'll just type dollar symbol. Now we can see we have the currency displayed over here. Let's add some styles. So I'll just type font size and I'll just set it to 18 pixels or let's increase it to 24 pixels. And let's set the font weight to 400. And we'll also add some margin right. So I'll just type margin right and let's set it to 20 pixels or uh, I think uh, 10 pixels, I think six pixels. It looks all right. You can go ahead and play with these values and style this to your needs. I'll also set the opacity to let's say 0 0.4. Right now let's style this calculate button. So for that we have a button with the class of calculate button. So here I'll just type loan calculator calculate button. And uh, for this we will have a background color of E63946. And let's set the color of the text to white. And we'll also remove the border. So I'll just type border none. And let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll also add rounded corners. So I'll just type border radius and set it to 8 pixels. And let's set the font size to 18 pixels. And let's set the font weight to 900. And we'll also set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this, we have this pointer. And let's also add some margin top. So I'll just have margin and 24 pixels for top and bottom and zero for left and right. And I think that looks all right. We'll also add some basic styles for the mobile version. So let's type at media. And here we'll just type max width of 650 pixels. Now when the width of the browser is less than 650 pixels, we will set the width of the loan calculator to 90% of the screen. So I'll just type 90%. And we'll also add a max width of 500 pixels. And uh, let's decrease the width of this uh, browser window. And now we can see when we decrease the width of the browser window, we have a max width of 500 pixels. And when we decrease the width even more, it changes back to 90%. Now we'll also bring all these elements one below the other. So here we just type loan calculator form and uh, We'll set the flex direction to column. So now we can see all these elements are one below the other. And we'll also increase the gap a little bit. So let's type gap. And let's set it to 16 pixels. I think we can increase it a little bit more. So I'll just type 20 pixels. And that looks all right. Now let's go ahead and position these elements one below the other. So we will have these details at the top. And then we'll have this calculate button. And then we'll have the chart. So let's target the result division. So I'll just have long calculator result. And let's set the flex direction to column. 
and uh, we'll also set the text align to center and now we can see everything looks all right we have the chart over here so that's basically it with the styling of our loan calculator now in the next video we will add the chart and we'll also write some javascript to add the functionality of this calculator all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Bye.